Hi friends, bear with me. It's a different background today because it is raining in Maine. I fear our summer warm weather is officially gone and fall is underway and it's just been raining all day. But I had some free time and I really wanted to do my first tag video. There's a new tag going around, you may have seen it, may have not, and it's just like the secrets of a YouTuber tag. And I thought it would be fun to do. I see tags sometimes and I'm like, oh, I wanna do it, but I don't feel like there's enough that I can talk about, but this one seemed really simple and straightforward. So I wrote down the questions like I do, and I thought I would just answer them. So the first question asks, how long have you been on YouTube? I started YouTube last June, so it's been a little over a year. At what point do you think you'll stop? I don't know necessarily. I think that it really will depend on what's going on in my life and if YouTube can still fit into that. I think whenever YouTube either stops being fun or it starts to impede on what I think should be my regular life, then I would consider stopping it. But at this point in time, I really like YouTube and I don't have a definite, you know, foreseeable end date in mind for my channel. The best thing about YouTube is, and for me the best thing about YouTube is really the reason why I joined YouTube, which was because I wanted to share with people in my love of makeup and be able to work with people and interact with people all across the world and just really be able to connect. And I think that's what YouTube is all about. When I first, when YouTube kind of became a thing, I thought that was a little weird but as the community of YouTube has evolved I found that it really is a great place to be a part of and I'm excited to be a part of it this is the worst thing and what do you do to make it okay um I think no, it's not necessarily like the worst thing that seems really dramatic, but I think a big challenge of YouTube is there seems to be a lot of pressure to have a obscenely large number of subscribers and to do everything to be you know exposed and to you know be as big as these you know handful or dozen of so of women that apparently have what people dub successful channels because they have so many subscribers. That's not why I'm on YouTube. I'm not here to just amass people and, you know, have them follow me and think I'm so wonderful. I do it because I want people to connect with me and I want to be able to share with people my thoughts and my love of things and that's what I'm looking for but I think that it's really easy to fall into the pressures of wanting to have tons of subscribers and that's just not something that I want to be a part of. So for me what I do to make it better is I just do me. I do my channel, I do videos that I want to do and I do things that I think are you know a good use of my media that I have available to use for tools and I produce or make videos that I think are decent quality and that's what I focus on and I don't get caught up in how many subscribers I have or don't have and I appreciate the people that do choose on their own free will to join me in my channel. What thumbnail options do you usually take? You guys have probably seen this if you've been around my channel for I'd say the past couple of months. My thumbnails are quite evolving and I'm very excited about that but for me I just take pretty much one picture on my photo booth and then I will then do some uh, like paint stuff on it to get the words on there which took me longer to realize how to do than it should have taken. So that's all I really do. I don't spend a lot of time I guess think putting it through. I just sort of hold up whatever I have. I might pick a different effect but I really only take one picture unless I do something really stupid or make like a dumb face which that happens sometimes. YouTuber crush. Ooh, this is hard. I have a lot of YouTube channels that I love. I don't watch many men on here, so I don't have like a man crush. But I would say a channel that I, lo I love to watch would definitely be Making Up the Midwest, April, Athena Beauty, and um, Beauty Broadcast Express. Those three women I admire. I think that they are wonderful people and they, you know, they just make really nice quality videos. I value their opinions and their feedback and I think that they're really authentic, which you can't ask for more than that on a YouTube beauty channel in my opinion. So I definitely would pick those three. What's on your collab wish list? Well, I just did a collab with Sherry, which was really cool and really fun, so I'm glad I got to do that. Um, I think it would be fun to do something with um, Andrea Matigliano. I don't know if I'm pronouncing her name right. She's also a really wonderful YouTube channel. Um, and then I think Katie in, the, in Neverland is your username, Katie. I think it would be fun because I've watched a lot of your videos, and I think we're really similar. And I just, I really would like to do a collab with those two women. And, I mean, any. Anyone, really anyone who wants to do a collab with me I feel like let's just do it I mean why not it doesn't need to be a big production it could be something simple or small scale it doesn't need to be a giveaway anything like that but if you're into it shoot me a message and let's get it going 
what are you wearing on your bottom half? Haha! -ha! This um, would be my gym, my pre-gym getup. Usually I come from school when you guys will see me in a lot of my school outfits, but today, since I'm in summer break, I just have, ugh, standing is hard. I just have yoga pants on. Um, I'll probably change in the Nike shorts before I go to the actual gym, but this is what I'm wearing for now. How long until you actually click record? I don't 100% know what that question means. Like I said, a lot of times I just come from school and I just make sure, like I come home from school and like I'll probably do a video or if I have a birch box in my mailbox or an Ipsy, I'll just go ahead and do that. I just kind of make sure that my hair isn't too ridiculous looking after a day at school or that there's nothing in my teeth, but really I just put up my laptop, I make sure that there's nothing weird in the background and then I click record and I do it. Not much to it, I guess. I don't know. Maybe I'm just not putting enough thought into it or maybe I don't beautify my face enough, but I don't know. It's just how I do. Just what I do. Feel about the YouTube community and culture. Um, like I said in the part of the, the worst area is, aside from the pressure to amass subscribers, I think the community is wonderful. I think people really, there is just a thirst for connection online, and I think that YouTube really has found a way to connect people in sort of a safe way, it's, you know, and I just think it's just wonderful. I just, I love YouTube. I love people that I've been able to interact with. I've, you know, had the pleasure of interacting with a lot of different men and women on YouTube and through Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and other ways because of that. And I think this has just been a great gateway to be able to be a part of a really good community of people. And I'm fortunate that I ha I've had such a good experience, I think. What's your secret to a successful YouTube channel? Um, I think it's all about how you define success. I mean, I think it's really important to be yourself. I mean, what you guys see on here, those moments where I'm really hyper and my energy is just over the top and me being really straightforward in my thoughts and opinions, that's just who I am and I'm never gonna compromise that. And I think that for me is being successful as long as I'm staying true to who I wanna be and where I wanna be and all of that jazz. I also think it's really important to have goals. That's just kind of a part of how I feel in general. You know, I decided earlier this year that one of the goals I wanted to have was to be able to navigate iMovie better, to be able to edit my videos better. And you guys have seen that. I've been able to do like side shots or fadeaways or things like that, that I was able to learn. And I think I've reached those goals. I think having people that actually want to watch me is really cool. And the fact that there are many of you that I know you watch all of my videos and that's that to me is crazy and wonderful and so I think it's really just being comfortable with who you are and coming on here with expectations and ideas that are realistic but manageable and just having fun I think that makes it the best I have a lot of fun on YouTube and I definitely recommend this to people as long as you're in it for the right reasons and I, I think that makes you successful last thing is who do you tag first off anybody who wants to do it I mean nobody tagged me and I said I'm gonna do it I would definitely say that Sherry you should do this I think that Katie you should do this as well um, those people I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions on it but anyone I encourage you to do this this is my first tag I think I'm gonna do more tags give this video a thumbs up if you guys like tags um, I don't know what other tags are out there but if you have a request for a certain one for me to do let me know in the comments below and I'll talk to you guys in the next video bye